Today's demonstration is intended to show the difference in operation between two types of steam traps, specifically the thermostatic bimetal trap and the inverted bucket trap. We will be focusing on each trap type's ability to drain condensate from the equipment as it forms. The bimetal thermostatic trap operates on the difference in temperature between live steam and condensate. Since condensate is formed at or near steam temperature, for the thermostatic trap to work, we have to allow the condensate to collect long enough for it to lose heat energy and thereby lower its temperature, making the bimetal actuator operate. We're feeding these traps from 15 PSI steam in the heat exchanger, and I can vary the load coming out of the heat exchanger by varying the amount of water that I run through the tube. If I provide a water flow of one half GPM to the shell and tube heat exchanger with 15 PSI steam feeding it, I should be providing a load down only about 60 pounds per hour of condensate to the trap. If you'll note, I'm already backing up the condensate, even at only a 60 pound an hour load, I'm backing up condensate ahead of this bimetal thermostatic trap because that is the nature of any thermostatic trap. I have to lose heat energy from the condensate in this line for the temperature to go down far enough for the trap to open and drain. While I'm waiting for that temperature decrease to occur, I'm backing up condensate into the equipment. The inverted bucket trap, on the other hand, operates on the difference in density between the steam and the condensate. So temperature has no effect. If I increase the load to the heat exchanger being drained by the inverted bucket trap, you'll note that the condensate level never gets above the level of the inlet tubing going to the trap. I have no backup toward the heat exchanger at all. I'll increase the load even further Go from one half gallon per minute through the heat exchanger to one GPM, thereby increasing the load, which you'll notice that the condensate level does not change. As long as this trap is sized to handle the maximum amount of condensate that that heat exchanger can send to it, it is never going to back up condensate. 